Hello there, Sagittarius, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing good. And in case you don't know, Sagittarius, how it works on this channel is that I channel out whatever spirit wants me to for however long. And it is for you, Sagittarius, so I hope you enjoy it and it resonates for the most part. If it doesn't, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs. Okay, so let's see what you need to know right now. Ooh, look at you. Wow, Sagittarius, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. Don't even, don't even question your abilities. Now, some of you, you may need to uh, not care what others think about you or just don't be sensitive to uh, criticism at this time, especially for those Sagittarius that you're out in the public's eye. Um, now, po possibly with the criticism, it could be among, you know, everyday life right but don't be sensitive you're sitting in a really good posi position with the king of wands here so um you know it is about taking a leadership role stepping into the spotlight where you belong anyways so some of you you know there's something about a star or stardom here in a sense big or small it doesn't matter just know that there's something bright shining about you and you're meant to take the leadership role you could be even doing something about public speaking. Again, something about being in the public's eye. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Communicate your vision and don't be uh, sensitive to criticism of others. Who cares what others think? You know, I feel a lot of you, you, know, you have strong beliefs or a strong sense of purpose and guidance and just allow that to lead the way. You know, you already know here. So what's going on here? Don't worry, unexplained um, or unfounded fear. I was gonna say unexplained fear. Maybe that's what it is too. Maybe you don't even know. Okay, ooh, there's a card that wants to come out with the Nine of Swords. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm gonna read this, so just take what resonates, but this is a card of stress, maybe worry. Maybe we're just not getting enough sleep or expecting the worst right so let's see unfounded fear expecting the worst thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation sleepless nights refocus your thoughts hmm it could be you know some of you might be stressed or worried that something's not going to happen in the right time or can these goals, these visions, uh, the big picture come to fruition? So let go of the small details, right? And, and just look at the big picture. Leave the small details details to God, Jesus, the universe. See, you are meant to choose your own path, regardless of what others may think or want from you or what maybe you thought was good for you at one time. Maybe that's changed or has changed and now you're just... You know, you're, you're sitting pretty solid. So choose your own path and what is best suited for you. And I do see something about apparel or suits or maybe having to get suited up here, right? Put on, you know, the things that you want to do, what you want to wear. Yeah, I feel a lot of you, you're just, you're not going to be giving any Fs about the situation any longer because you know where you belong. All right, let's see. What else? Maybe you've been <clears throat> surrounded by or uh, swimming like these fish with narrow-minded, uh, narrow-mindedness people, right? And you're like, oh no, forget it. And good, because we have victory, we have a breakthrough, we have clarity as well. So this is a really good indicator because with the Nine of Swords, there could be, you know, again, uh, unnecessary worry or stress or fears here because we have the Ace of Swords. So we are, you know, gaining victory or having victory or clarity maybe a sense of breakthrough as well when it comes to you know what you need to be clear about or what you need to have be uh, shown to you this is the ace of swords here so brilliant ideas that need refinement oh look at this so we we do we're cultivating and zoning in out on our brilliant ideas you're overcoming obstacles because you're gonna have victory here. 
with faith that everything will work out. Communicate clearly and concise, uh, concisely. Remain objective. Yeah, I feel there's something about not letting things or others stir you up in a way that takes you out of um, focus of the big picture. And maybe for some of you, you, um, you know, you could be keeping your big picture or vision or goals to yourself for the time being, um, but communicating your needs, your wants, right, without any uh, guilt, shame, or I'm, and I'm not saying that you are, but maybe some, because this is a general reading, or um, without hesitation, I should just say, without hesitation, because you know. You are more than capable of discovering, manifesting, and getting what it is that you want, right? Getting the clarity, possibly the communication too. I feel that some of you might be manifesting someone here too that maybe we've been waiting for long-awaited messages or waiting for some type of communication or misunderstandings or something to be clear here in something, in some aspects of, you know, communication, <laughs> There could be something strong about writing here as well. So take this if it resonates. Some of you Sagittarius, be willing to maybe get your, whatever is keeping you up at night, get it on paper or something or on your phone or your tablet or iPad or laptop, you know, just get it down and off your mind and then get into bed, go to sleep. <laughs> okay. Get that rest. You know, you need rest. Okay. What else? Because sometimes when we're mentally exhausted, it's it's hard to focus. Okay, seeds well planted. See, you have done something really good here. And look at the bottom there, unnecessary worry. And it's exactly what I was saying. Investments that will be rewarded in the future, the need for patience, a time for resting and planning for the future. I was just telling you to get some more rest. So you're going to see the fruits of your labor flourish, okay? You just got to trust in divine timing. Okay, what else? And also, you know, you are exploring possibly new ways or new options here, a new discovery for new seeds in your life to be planted. Oh, yeah, there, there may be something here with just watching out others right now. Some of you might be noticing something too. It might be very coming clear whether it's, you know, yourself or another, because we all go through these stages regardless, but maybe we're finding out the, the illusion that others are weaving around them or themselves or trying to wrap or weave around you or what maybe you've weaved around yourself, right? Like unnecessary worry, right? Stress, feeling not so confident about, you know, your progress, but you should feel confident. When you choose your path, then you're choosing the best thing for yourself. Okay, five of wands. Conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. Walk away from drama unless the situation is really worth your time. Then stand up for yourself, right? You could be dealing with, working with, <clears throat> or are, you know, yourself, very ambitious, a uh, very ambitious person. But the thing I'm seeing is, hmm, I feel a lot of you, you know, there, you could be standing out more or, you know, some of you, you could be um, the leader of the pack here, like a team, you know, you're having to get the, the team and people working well together here. Maybe it's even just family <clears throat> or, you know, whatever it is. Now take that if it resonates, it won't for all of you. Um, but there is something about you not letting these challenges or opposition um, you know, block you or make you feel like you're not making progress or you can't form what it is that you want to form into your life or do what you want to do. They could even just be jealous of you in a sense that you could even challenge others. In fact, I feel that's what you do is you challenge others, but you are waking up to something um, as well when it comes to turning things around in your favor. Let's get, I want a little bit more with the five of wands for Sagittarius. Now, some of you, Sagittarius, the conflict is within within yourself, right? Let's see. You're going to have blessings here. Hmm. It's like, yeah, just keep standing up for what you want that you, you know, that you feel is right for you, but pay attention. I do feel that um, 
you need to be careful whether or not you want to exert your energy for something because it is a time for you to rest, right? And not give in to unnecessary stress or worry, anxiety. What else? <clears throat> I'm just hearing uh, blessings are occurring every day and they may occur at a rapid speed. So just pay attention, pay attention to the signs that you're receiving from the divine. Yeah. I was just talking about something, blessings happening at a rapid uh, speed. Look beyond the surface, avoid becoming distracted by surface issues, right? The surface. And if you're talking about surface, I mean, the person, this person is looking in the mirror here. So it is just a surface thing. So we may just, you know, Need to just back away from that. Focus on the underlying motivation, cause, or beauty in a situation and seek ways to bring depth to your world because there's something about you having this shared inspiration. Throw yourself into a new project. Oh, yeah. So to get some rest here because I do see you throwing yourself into a new project. You're going to be diving deep into something here that's going to be fun or at least inspirational, be willing to let go of time constraints and rules and really be aware of whatever fulfills your heart. Oh my goodness. You know what Sagittarius? I just feel like I have to say this. So take it if it resonates. Uh, cause again, we all do this. We're all human. We're all spiritual, right? <laughs> Uh, okay. Before you're reading, uh, yeah, I was getting this message about, um, possibly, you know, whether we grew up by this or we took on and held on to a belief and a rule, like setting up rules for one's own life where maybe you're breaking free from that. Okay. Or seeing something about that, right? Cause you could have a rule about having to get something done at a certain time or age, right? Cause there's something, you know, again, you could put that in whatever scenario, scenario you want to, but now you're just going to throw yourself into a new project without no time constraints, rules, and just, you know, be, um, willing to go after your heart's desires because there's true blessings in that. And also this is what I feel you're getting blessed with. So Beneath the surface lies great shared inspiration, passion that you can just dive into and it will feel timeless. What else? And we could be concerned with two, with time in some aspect here, <clears throat> because we might be, you know, seven of pentacles is a slow process. It's a long and laborious process. And it is earth energy. So it's, you know, it takes time. And, and I feel for some reason from where I'm, um, where I'm, uh, my perspective of seeing this card, you know, I know he's got his arm on the windowsill there, but it looks like he's looking down at his watch. If he had one, right. Looking at the time, maybe he is right. He's looking at the time, something about time. So let go of time or time constraints. It's all happening in divine timing. So you, yeah, just, Give in to enjoying the journey now because all you can do is control right now anyways. That's your best place. So stay present and flexible. So look at this. Here you are staying present and flexible. Look at the King of Wands. He's not distracted by anything. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, this is why there's a lot with, with, uh, this conflict or things just kind of feeling challenges because yeah, many changes are going on for you and around you. These changes are not only good, but necessary. Mm, think about that. Necessary. Bring your awareness into the now. I do see you doing that. Even look, even with the king of wands where that's you actually. And look at the ace of swords here. Focus clear. And it's right above you. And I see crowns here. Okay. Yeah. Your crown chakra. Well, you could be breaking through you too. Sagittarius are breaking through into new uh, depths and dimensions. Bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past or the future too much. Right? So just keep your eye on the big picture, but then don't get too caught up in details and then just enjoy the journey because all you can do is work with what you have right now. Anyways, keep choosing your own path. There's something about you staying strong and believing in a vision here. 
Okay, what else? Oh, now you got the Ace of Cups too. You got the you got the Ace of Swords and Ace of Cups. Two new beginnings and opportunities of ooh breakthroughs, fulfillment, awakening, like feeling like you've awakened to something or something has awakened within you, a beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship or a deep friendship is on the horizon or nearing soon. Some of you, I feel that you've had to learn to be your own best friend, <laughs> you know, like, hey, look at you, go. And that's working, keep doing that. Now, if you're not, be your best own best friend right now. Yeah, I'm hearing something about besties or best friends or something. Okay, anyhow, a romantic relationship. Okay, I read it. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I read that. Awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights. Yeah, I feel like you're just like on fire about something or you will be. A love letter or new home. Okay, speaking about being on fire, some of you may have a connection to a Gemini or you have Gemini placements in your chart. You may even reson resonate with Gemini's reading or you could be dealing with a Gemini in the near future. You could even be receiving a love letter. There could be something about, yeah, communication or uh, writing messages, hmm. possibly a love letter. So take it if it resonates. I'm just reading this, take what resonates, a new home. Hmm, that could be something that's in your future here. Don't give up on your dream about a home or maybe something that you may feel is large or larger than you. But once you get there, you're gonna fit right in. <laughs> You'll feel like, oh my goodness, this was, this was made for me. Okay, what else? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Passive receiving, mm -hmm. look at, and Queen of Cups. A loving, compassionate, psychic person here, self-sacrificing. Yeah, I was getting something too for some of you guys. Okay, deep psychic insights. This is really powerful for a lot of you. I do feel a lot of you are embodying a uh, high priestess, queen of cups here. Um, you could also be guided towards someone that embodies that as well because we do have this new, beautiful, emotional experience. Okay, so something and someone's gonna bring this new, ex uh, ex excuse me, new emotional experience to the forefront Ooh, it will be the forefront of your life. Caring for others, but forgetting to t take care of yourself. Um, be cautious of that, you know. I think we all tend to ha have to really keep that in check and balance. <clears throat> Some of you, you are tending to someone though too, I feel that you're, uh, there's something about a caregiver or something like that, but take that if it resonates, it won't for all of you, but just trust your intuition and follow your heart. It, it really is, it really is gonna be important for you to follow your heart. You have to choose your own path and what's best suited for you. And what's interesting is I'm noticing number 14 here. <laughs> and number 14 in tarot is temperance, which is associated with um, you, your sign, uh, Sagittarius. So I, yeah, I, I feel this is also about you feeling empowered, you know, and not really um, feeling like you have to control too much, right? You're just easy does it is going to be the best. And if you notice Queen of Cups is really in this place of easy does it. She's sitting by the ocean, <clears throat> letting the tide bring her what she's already visioned and dream in her heart and know that's coming. A deep love of family and friends. So just follow your heart. Okay, so I do feel we've been giving something a lot of water though. We don't want, you know, this is the other thing I'm learning too with just um, gardening or I don't, I mean, it's not like I have a big garden or anything, but I do enjoy uh, tending to nature, okay, and my little garden stuff. But, you know, if you give it too much love, it can, it can, can kill it, you know? So it's like, ah. Oh you know, fine tuning these things is necessary, you know, figuring out what works, right? Like what soil, what soil or fertilizer works for this specific flower or this specific vegetable, this specific dream, this specific vision of yours. You're figuring it out. You have figured it out. Now it's just easy does it. Enjoy the journey. 
Remember, there's something about unnecessary worry can also lead to uh, you being feeling really drained and exhausted. You might even be feeling, not all of you, but I mean, pay attention. You know, you could be waking up feeling completely drained, you know, like you didn't get enough rest, right? But anyhow, get, get that rest. Enjoy yourself. Believe in blessings. What else for Sagis? Time constraints. I, I just heard work release, but in the sense of release yourself from too much overthinking or overdoing it or, or overworking or feeling trapped because some of you guys, there is an illusion of being trapped. Remember, I, I was getting this message about, you know, you're, you, you could be seeing the illusion that others, that, that others weave around themselves, right? And also possibly in our own self, but, you know, once you recognize it in yourself, then it's easy to see it for what it really is, you know? I mean, think of maybe the ego just trying to protect you, right? Because it doesn't want to get harmed. It doesn't want to get hurt. It doesn't want to feel, it doesn't want to go through failure or feel like it's failing or a mistake, accepting responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness. I feel a lot of you guys are doing that. You're finding this victory within yourself, the strength within yourself to do so. But you will, there, there is something here where something will have to, you know, you need to have mental uh, concentration or focus. We could be letting go of addictions or unhealthy habits, right? Maybe staying up too late for too long, right? Doing things that have been prolonged too, too long. <laughs> prolonged too long. Okay. Oh. Okay. I, I remember hearing that thing about time release. You're releasing time, right? Releasing the, the need to... You know, have, you know, just whatever, ha whatever you resonate when it comes to time, watching the time, watching the seeds, what, you know, whatever, because look, the wheel of fortune is divine time and it's unexpected at any time. <laughs> you hear that divine time unexpected at any time. Okay. Anyhow, a fresh new start or the end of delays sudden. Oh, see, look at that. The end of delays breaking free from something here break free, sudden and unexpected progress. Oh, remember Sagittarius, I know specifically I was saying something about rapid, oh, it was about those rapid blessings and something like that, something about progress. And that's exactly what's headed your way. What's behind it real quick. <laughs> oh my God. Ah, okay. Sagittarius, the balance card. This is temperance. <laughs> it's you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Some of you could be, um, blending with someone here too, where it just, it feels mutually beneficial and right. Okay. Or an idea or an opportunity. It just feels mutually beneficial and right. Some of you Sagittarius have really, you're taking something old and blending it into something new or being in a place of acceptance, like not, a, not allowing yourself to be restricted either by anything or anyone past, present, or the future. So you're just really in a place of being um, very balanced and whole. And this is where miracles happen. And you're allowing destiny to take its course. And this is fast. This is quick. Okay, something's incoming here. I, I get the uh, Knight of Swords with this. With the, um, the Ego card is Devil card, so that's Capricorn. And also Knight of Swords is Cancer. Or excuse me, not Cancer. It's... Um, Ah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I, I see some type of justice taking place. Now, whether we're taking control of it ourselves and doing what's right and the right thing or something or someone has led to us where it breaks us free because we're having some, we're, there's some type of sudden, sudden event or change that happens and it's all bringing you miracles, blessings, my God, with the, uh, with the, excuse me, temperance, which is balance. Blending the ideas of others with your own. Oh, that might be significant here for some of you. So be open maybe to, ex, you know, maybe even experiment with blending ideas of others of your own, especially if you have to work with others. Not all of you are in that position, but <clears throat> take it if it resonates. Okay, so, oh, you're going to be creating something extraordinary anyways. I do see that. <laughs> 
uh, or having something extraordinary, a successful compromise. Oh, this is good, right? Because we, we got this card of conflict. Anyhow, um, the power of diversity, self-control, patience and balance. I feel that this is really, you know, you both both of these the king and the queen is really really to me looking like they have um great self-control they know just when they just know and they know how <clears throat> and they believe so not only i mean did i feel you you know strong here showing up as yourself with the king of wands i mean here you are again it's just ooh, it's good okay what else It's real good. My God. Okay, so some of you guys, I was getting this whole thing about a connection being so mutually beneficial. I don't know how it's going to appear, but it is. And also, you know, I mean, take that if that resonates. But a lot of you, you, you don't even know. You may not even realize that a new connection or new situation is coming into your life. Hard work leads to success, unnecessary worry, seeds well planted, just go and have fun. Some of these things are gonna take some, you know, for you know, years with the seven of pentacles because it's it takes time. But look at this. It's Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Ooh, financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life, honoring family traditions, pride in the family tree, passing on knowledge, legacy, money. I see you enjoying the journey. See, you've been working hard. Some of you could be making your home look really nice or doing something with landscaping. And look, now you can do enjoy it. Speaking of, because you've been working on the landscaping of your own life. And here are the rewards. And the rewards are solid. Solid financially, emotionally, materially. And I was talking about something birthing, I felt like, in your life or something maybe new. We, we, knew, we know we have a new thing coming here. So I do see that there's, you know, a pregnated woman here. So Empress is walking around. Okay, she's she's ready to give birth. So get the rest. It's like you are going to be giving birth to a new you, a new situation, a new life. Yes, for some of you, not all of you. Yeah, a little human. <laughs> okay, what else? I'm hearing a miracle baby or a miracle child. Gliding through the currents. This one fell over. Share your thoughts. Look at you. And you are in the position of the king and the queen. So a lot of you, you're ready to share your thoughts. You're ready to convey your meaning, your ideas. Maybe it's just sharing, you know, with the people that you have in front of you right now, right? But don't hesitate to communicate clearly as well. I do see a sense of empowerment here with you sharing your thoughts, your ideas. Okay, gliding through current. This one was a, a bonus little kind of uh, did a little weird thing over here. So I grabbed it. Okay, with a different approach, you will glide through a situation with grace and ease. Going inward and bringing your understanding, perspective, or behavior into flow will help your dreams take flight. You know, and I was just talking to you about like figuring out what's going to work for you, right? and your environment because you know not everybody lives in uh the same temperature the same zone you can't all have that same you know whatever growing in your life um but you are figuring something out here when it comes to perspective behavior right with a different approach blending something new or old it doesn't matter but it's going to work for you and I do see you gliding through the currents and also just allowing yourself to see what, you know, it's like you put your, you put it out there and you're going to see what comes back. Oh my God, I wish I would have said it. Oh, it doesn't matter. I was seeing jellyfish because there's a deck that I have that the queen of cups is the jellyfish. <laughs> and when I saw the gliding through currents, <clears throat> 
And if you've been, on, been watching the channel for a while, you, you, you'll notice that every time I see jellyfish, I always like, feel this thing about jellyfish. You know, they, they do swim, and, you know, but I feel like they rather, and, and even like with sea turtles, they rather go with the current, find that current and go with it, right? Finding that easier path forwards or just being easy. Okay, let your personality shine. Look at you. Hmm. You have something that no one else has that makes you who you are. Step, stop comparing. I was going to say step, step, step it up. Anyhow, it says stop comparing yourself to others. Oh, see that that's at five of wands. Huh? Stop comparing yourself to others and allow your uniqueness to shine through. See you're and this card was like a little bonus, but now I can see why. I mean, here you are right? Motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious, take a leadership role, step into the spotlight. I mean, look and let your personality shine. You were made for this. You were absolutely made for this. What else? <clears throat> hmm, a significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Yeah, you're changing something up. Powerful and often unexpected revelations and breaking free from procra uh, procrastinations, releasing old belief systems or something maybe old here, maybe something that you thought was traditional or maybe you thought was a good idea or, you know, whether it's oneself, others, or a blend of things, it doesn't matter. You're just breaking free from something that feels like it's been, um, you know, like a stand, things have been at a standstill. So we do have, my goodness, oh my gosh, you guys, Sagittarius, woo, we got crazy things happening here. Because you have the tower here with the transformation card. And didn't we get the devil? Yes. 14, 15, 16. 14, 15, 16. I wouldn't be surprised if star comes out. Allow whatever needs to um, come through and shine to shine. Be prepared and know that you can handle unexpected changes because look at the Wheel of Fortune. It talks about the end of delays and with the transformation, it's talking about breaking free of some type of procrastination or something that felt stagnant because this is going to bring you great and big happiness here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Some of you, some of you, your angel is like saying, quit stalling, quit stalling. <laughs> okay, what else? Need and necessity. See, you are blending ideas. You're blending situations, things, negative, positive, and also, you know, taking what's a necessity for you. And that includes belief systems, ideas, inner and outer things here, and being okay, you know, feeling great fulfillment, contentment, because guess what? You, you are coming into a, plen a time of plentiful. Now, some of you, if you're already in a time of plentiful, know you're gonna sustain it because we've discovered something about great balance, right? Because I feel some of you have already been down that road before and, and what, now take it if it resonates because some of you might be afraid that you might do something again or make a mistake <laughs> or repeat something, but you're not because you found some type of inner strength and true inner vision. And when you have that, everything on the outside takes care of itself. You, you, I keep hearing this thing about you having the power to blend things. I mean, this is like your natural gift in the world and that's what's needed and that's what's valuable. Know your worth. What else? Oh, there's a weird, okay, what's going on here? Okay, something else wants to come out too. No, you belong. Oh my God. No, you belong to you belong in the spotlight. My goodness. And look, taking the next steps, bold and ambitious choices, partnering with others who share your dreams. 
Hello, hello, hello. You deserve that too. Uh, expanding your plans. I can see you expanding your plans and your vi visions or, your, you, or you will trust in your ability to do so. Uh, continue to move forward, right? The two of wands could also, you know, this is also breaking free from stagnation or procrastination. Know you belong. Know your presence belongs wherever you may roam. Because some of you guys, you're, you could be manifesting travel dreams. You could be manifesting a great support or partnership or companion, you know, that you can really take off with. Go farther together, right? But you can go as far as your heart um, desires. Letting your heart lead, lead the way right now. And not the, that stress or anxiety. What else? Or just overthinking. Because <laughs> sometimes we can just overthink. Oh, look at this. We got this awakening. This is this um, whole standstill here. So you're, you're going to be coming out of a period of stagnation for sure. You better get ready. You better get ready. Oh my goodness. So you do need some rest here. I feel like I need to move this over a little bit. A temporary pause for reflection and insight. That's what's happening, has been happening, currently happening, and an awakening where you see things in a whole new light. So embrace your own uniqueness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. And there may be something here, not all of you, but there could be something with a same um, sex relationship or something like that, or something really rare and unique about, in general, there's something rare and unique about you, but know you belong, right? Embrace your own uniqueness. This is all you have to do right now and continue to enjoy the journey because as you embrace your uniqueness, you're going to start seeing things reflect back at you that... That, you know, that mirrors the same thing. The support and the eyes and the um, adoration of your, you know, people admiring your, your own uh, qualities and uniqueness that you bring just by being you. You could be involved with charitable um, actions. I can see that too for a lot of you. You might be sacrificing something right now for a greater cause because you're doing something different and shifting things and having an awareness that others don't understand possibly and who cares <laughs> you don't and you know, it's like trying you know that's tiring you know trying to convince people right okay what else oh look at you are moving on the need to move on, seeking more from life than what you're experiencing, a spiritual quest for many of you, and choosing to make big life changes. I do see that because we got some powerful uh, major arcana cards here, the, e uh, the devil, the will of fortune, the tower, anything. Oh, and he, even temperance and the hangman seeking more. Yes, you are, you are going to experience a... <clears throat> if you haven't already, uh, a powerful rebirth, right? Because I do feel that there may have been a time where you felt very uh, maybe uh, confident and assured, and then maybe there was a storm that came and we had to go through the, the dark night of the soul, but you're coming out of the un other end a lot more abundant, <laughs> like flourishing actually. So Choosing to make, oh yeah, we were talking about that, change in priorities. Oh my gosh, and leaving a home. You could be leaving a home and getting into a new home for some of you guys. There's a new home on this card and a leaving a home on this card. Okay, so yeah, you're just headed to be something better, right? Maybe it's, I've just heard that your heart, it's like you can't, your heart can't explain, but you know there's something better. Or your mind can't explain, but the heart can, something like that. Okay, what else? Every step counts and convey your meaning. Okay, so there is an advantage in taking things slowly. Breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options. So you can take it slowly. Just continue to move forward here. Convey your meaning. Reflect on the way you communicate with others and with yourself. Hmm, I feel like that's something strong because, you know, we can all be our own worst enemy at times, right? And I'm not saying that you are. But speak words of love and kindness. 
know that there's something beautiful and unique about you. That's what makes you stand out anyways, or you will be. Uh, be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart. And this is you doing that with the Queen of Cups. And we, we do have this Ace of Cups. So there's, there's something that you can express your, um, you know, your feelings and your love and whatever you want from your heart with respect and sincerity. So I see you having a powerful uh, thing with communication here with another and taking things slow. And speaking of every step counts, I mean, look, we're right at that door. So it's like, <laughs> literally, it's how, how spirit communicates is just amazing. Look, every step counts. It's like, boom, take one step. And notice this. This is the Ten of Swords. And look, number 10 on this card. I'm just like, hmm. Okay, what else? This card is like wanting to come out to be patient. This is, you know, temperance as well. Having patience. Because some of you, you could be losing your patience with others or a situation or with yourself or, remember, or you know, with time constraints. Some of you got to you gotta try to release that, you know. I know it can be hard. I mean, <laughs> again, that's just part of the ego. Trying to protect you, making sure things get done in time. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with that. But it's not, you know, there's a difference between the ego's timing and divine timing and you want divine timing because the ego's timing um, is always a little off <laughs> sometimes <laughs> i should just say not always but it can't be because <laughs> sometimes we do need the, that that the ego the ego can be a good thing it's there's always you know it's just how it's perspective right there's always good and bad with everything you if you are capable and you're able to see the good and bad in all things bless your soul you are needed you are wanted you know now some of you you're getting you know and i mean i'm not saying you have to agree it's not about agreeing with things it's just about seeing th and just you know having this awareness anyhow be patient be patient that's all you can do is be patient rediscover your zeal oh yeah and remember there was something about you conveying your meaning with respect and sincerity speak from your heart okay Remain objective if you have a very emotional conversation that's, you know, that especially if it's towards like an emotional storm, I, I guess I want to say. And also believe in your uh, ability to effectively, for those that are tapping into their own maybe psychic gifts or talents or abilities, you know, trust in your own abilities too, that you'll be able to communicate effectively what it is that you're, you know, trying to convey from maybe spirit or, you know, um, maybe a loved one for some of you that are maybe mediums. Okay, uh, let's, let's see. Pay attention to the passion you are feeling because this is what you're doing. You are absolutely rediscovering your zeal. So pay attention to the passion you're feeling for discovery, learning, and exploration, spirituality, travel, your work, or your relationship. Passion and desire go together, especially as inspiration. So really pay attention to the things that kind of speak to you right things that you want to discover this is your true soul's path that's why it speaks to you that's why it grabs your attention what else protect the wild and green now, i feel a lot of you have a strong passion about protecting you know, the things that do give back to us as humans or maybe just to yourself. Um, but yeah, for some of you, you could be uh, finding some property as well or finding yourself um, standing up for environmentalism, conservation, animal rights, those things. Or maybe just being more in tuned and aware of nature and how we affect nature and how nature affects us. Right, Seeing yourself in nature and protecting and being a great steward of the land here because i feel a lot of you 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 know you're a spiritual warrior oh there's a there's something that wants to come out with that protect the wild and green so let's see
Oh, I just saw, had a vision in my mind's eye too. For those that resonate with this, that are like <clears throat> passionate about the ocean, I don't know, I was seeing like, um, you know, garbage being picked up on the, the ocean side or seeing a very clean environment. And you could be, oh my God, turn away. Some of you, you know, there are some things that you can't control, right? What others do that. That's why, maybe that's why I was seeing that vision in my mind's eye of like pollution on the beaches or something like that. It's like, you know, you, 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 you'll, you'll waste all your time and your energy if you try to change people because it's, you know, unfortunately it's just something that is, that happens. So if something bothers you, turn away and just, you know, um, focus on those things that, you know, are flourishing in your life that are protected. And I feel a lot of you might discover that, you know, you're going to be, or your energy or something about you or what you are doing now or in the future will be, you know, very beneficial as, as far as like you being able to protect something very massive, I feel. Oh, yeah, and turn away from something old here. You, you, you're meant to be in this position of power. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out um, what you have to look forward to in the near future for Sagittarius. Oh my gosh. Woo! Oh, yes. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's real good. And this is the near future. Oh, it's real good. Yeah, a lot of you guys are just fine. Yeah, just fine. Enjoy the fruits of your labor or labors. And here's the seven of pentacles. This is a card of labor, right? We've been tending to working hard work that has led to a luxurious life. Oh, this is why I was seeing Empress because Empress uh, represents <clears throat> a luxurious, abundant life. Um, buying yourself something special. Ooh. And, and notice this nine of pentacles. There's a lot of property that this person is behind. So there is something about some type of conservation here, protecting wild and green, you know, there's great fields. Maybe there's something about a winery here for some of you farmlands. I don't know. Happily and successfully self-employed, enjoying your solitude because <laughs> you have the time to do it right? And you're looking and feeling really good inside and out and very well off with the nine of pentacles because it leads to this 10 of pentacles. So some of you, you know, if you're wanting some type of marriage or commitment with another that brings value and support to you, you're going to have it. Cause I feel that they're also well off like a, maybe a, a splitting, not, I don't want to say splitting image of you, but maybe there's something about drive. Someone's driven just like you, you know, and when you're driven and you have, and you're, you got goals, um, you know, you have fun in life. You can enjoy and explore these things, uh, to accumulate these goals that you want to. Right. And so, yeah, maybe for now or in the future, if you feel that you're alone or independent, just, you know, see that alone time as fun time and preparation time because I do see you connecting with another <laughs> and having fun, okay, and hanging out. Let's see how spirit is helping you. Financial rewards is big here, just saying. So how is spirit currently helping Sagittarius? could be something with getting physically fit. I just heard for some of you. So take that if it resonates, <laughs> follow the moon, following the cycles and the energies of your own self too, right? Knowing your seasons, right? Knowing when to plant seeds, know when, you know, when they need to, you know, be nurtured, tended to, or possibly just left alone for a season because maybe it's winter time and you can't grow. Okay. Where uh, if you live in a place where like I do, it snows and rains and it's freezing. But anyhow, follow the moon and pay attention to moon cycles as well. Your dream states. Oh my gosh, look at this. And even in the nine of swords here, the moon is really big in this card. Okay. So just 
when you have the energy to do something, do it. When you need a rest, rest. Okay. And know that everything and every, everything in your life has a season and a reason. And yes, you'll get your lifetime. <laughs> so I hope that was helpful. Love and light.